Hi guys, uh, Michael here. Um, I just thought I'd make a, a video of a little project that I've been playing around with for the last three weeks or so. And basically what it is, is um, I wanted to create uh, my own method of um, controlling Vixen out in the field uh, in order to test my channels and sequences and lights etc etc. Um, but of course, and first in order to do that was to come up with a method of um, remote control. So, what I did is I had a look around on eBay and I found this these little marvelous little toys. Um, it's a four button uh, remote control um, key ring device that also comes with, if I show you here, with a receiver board so that uh, basically what happens here is you feed five volts in and as you push uh, one of the four keys on the on the keypad um, you get five volts out on one of these terminals to ground so therefore the next uh, the next task was then to find a way in order to receive input uh, via the computer so what I what I found was um, this is a here is the controller board of the inside of a USB keyboard and basically um, by shorting out the pins across here in a specific configuration you actually trigger a keyboard key um, to the PC so therefore uh, what I all I've done is taken the 5 volts from the pins here, put a currently resistor in line and some generic optos. So basically I fire 5 volts, uh, energize the optos and hence uh, short the configura pin configurations on the USB keyboard adapter. And the other good thing that I liked about this is that I got my 5 volts in from the PC, it's USB port. So. And if I take you over to the PC here, you'll see I have a uh, notepad loaded. And if I take the remote control like this, and you might be able to see here, if I push the A key, I get a Q. If I push the B key, I get an A. If I push the C key, I get a Z and the D key I get a 1 so I can continuously push that and that's basically I'm basically using the key ring now to simulate um, keyboard keys um, back to the back to the PC now um, in order to make this all work um, I wrote a piece of code uh, I wrote a bit of software that you'll see here and basically this is my my program that I've written and you'll see from the pictures here I've just uh, mapped buttons from the remote control to in order to emulate functions that I've got in my software and basically because I've got four buttons what I do is I sacrifice one button the D key in order to give me different modes so if you see above there you'll see I'm currently in channel mode um, thank you KC uh, powered by Vixen and um, I use a D key to switch me into the three different modes that I'm in so I get three lots of three buttons so I have nine functions I'm able to control and what the software does is it, it physically interacts um, controlling Vixen in, in such as um, pushing buttons and moving sliders exactly the same as you would do if I was doing it with the mouse. Now it's a little bit tricky every now and then you're going to have problems with well I, I'm have, I have problems with the, um, a connection between the software and Vixen which is something I don't really mind because from what I'm getting um, it's, it's really cool. Um, and basically what happens here is now I have um, a, sequ a set of four inputs here where I can um, load up 
but I'll need to load up sequences in here which I'll sh talk a little bit more about when I get into the sequencing mode now the thing was is that I had to find a way in order to, res to, to know what the software was doing while I was outside in the field not being able to see the PC obviously a screen or anything like that wasn't definitely not viable and it wasn't until I was uh, at my uh, show computer up in the house um, that I looked up and there's my FM transmitter and I thought wow what a great idea if I just added audio to the software um, in the factor not not so much sounds but I've basically uh, programmed in um, the text-to-speech um, development software into my code so as you can see here that's um, speech settings uh, because I'm running Vista um, I could only get Anne in the English uh, mode uh, because uh, apparently um, there's some sort of security glitch if you run the others so it doesn't allow them uh, and over here I'll try and get this to, to focus properly you'll see I have um, a slide that just gives me the rate of speech so currently now I'm in the slowest rate of speech and then obviously moving up to the faster rate of speech I prefer it in the slower because it's <laughs> much easier to understand um, now uh, what, what the software does is it physically um, tells me about audio which obviously then if I've got my FM transmitter connected I can then take a radio a small transistor radio or um, FM headset or something like that I actually use um, this little nifty device here which is um, basically a, a Bluetooth um, audio transmitting device I can plug that into anything I like I can actually even use a, a USB um, dongle that will actually then talk to this, this unit here. This is only if you don't have, it's not being plugged into a computer, so, and then I can have headphones and I can just walk out in the field and, and hear what the software says. So basically now let's have a look at, um, you'll see that I'm in, currently in channel mode. And if I make sure I have focus on my program, which I have. Uh, if I push the D key, let's make sure this is working. Which it's not. Close the notepad. And check my connection here. Mm -hmm. We should be up and running now. Push the D key. Control mode. Mm -hmm. Sequence mode. No sequence set at one. Channel mode. Now, as you can see, you can hear the actual software actually gives me text to speech. So, uh, if you see here, I'm running in in channel mode. If I hit the D key. Control mode. I go into control mode and you'll see how the functions descriptions change there and then I can go into the third mode which, sequence is, mode. which is sequence mode no sequence set at one basically that's telling me that I have no sequence where you see yellow now I have no sequence set to, to, to uh, that location which I need to have at least one when I move into the sequence control mode um, so now if I move back into uh, channel. 